Huh? So from <laughs> Kenyans, they were Kenya lakini. From Nabi to Zakayo to Zaushuru. Any Kenyan there's nothing that will pass you by. Why was the president, President Ruto, nicknamed Zakayo to Zaushuru? <laughs> Kenyans, tatumaliza. Juzi tu imekuwa nabi. Nabi Ruto. Sasa hizi ni Zakayo mtoza ushuru. Why? I'm your guy Mzima Wells and welcome to the platform podcast. Kama unjafinya pale subscription, tafadhali gonga pale subscription. It's very wicked to watch my shows without subscribing. Hiyo ni roho mbaya. Stop being bitter. Just subscribe pala chini. Smash the subscription button. It's very wicked. It's very evil. Very evil to watch my videos without subscribing. You're enjoying the show but you don't want to, to subscribe. Finya pala subscription at song and bell. So why have Kenyans called uh, Prezo? <laughs> Zakai Amtoza Ushuru. I'm looking at this article here. And I'll be going through it very fast. Quick fast. Raka binu pesi. At in an effort to widen the tax base. The government is targeting all sectors and every Kenyan with a national ID so as gradually win the country off excessive borrowing to cover the deficit in the budget. This, the president argues, will ensure the country lives within its means and reduce the debt burden. So, in reaction to proposed tax hikes, Kenyans have nicknamed their president Zakayom <laughs> Tozaushur. Zacchaeus, the tax collector, will have a Bible. A biblical character who was, who was infamous for exploiting Jews before he met Jesus and changed his ways. According to critics, the obsession by the government to raise more money from its citizen was punitive and premature. Instead, they say the government should first address immediate problems like unemployment, which in return will add more people to the pool of taxpayers. At least 10 million Kenyans ready to be absorbed in the job market are unemployed, with the crisis expected to worsen as companies reduce their workforces to navigate the tricky economy. So, hapa kuna shida sana, eh? So, kuna Kenya na pambali react. It's anasema nini? It gets nauseating at times to hear someone who barely affords unga defending Ruto and his high taxes. We are naitua Grace Munyaka. Pale Facebook, the removal of subsidies that cushion Kenyans from harsh economic times during the last days of retired President Uhuru Kenyatta has been felt across the country. Ruto Alikam Aka Toizama subsidies. He believes that the subsidies were burdened since the country was boring to sustain them. That's what Ruto believes. Supporters, however, think Ruto is laying the foundation for a stable economy and the current situation is just a temporary discomfort. What do you think? Is this the real the current of Zaushuru? Should Ruto remove the subsidies as a Rudishe? For him, or some supporters believe he's doing this to create a foundation for a stable economy. What do you think? Right now the shilling is really, 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 really going down. I think now it's selling almost at 130 shillings per dollar. But now, what do you think about this? Mtoza ushuru ama tumtafutia jina lingine. Hmm? Does the name fit him? <laughs> ah, ah. What other name should we be expecting soon? Yes, I'm your guy Mzema Watson. Thanks for tuning in. As always, keep safe and hustle hard. Till next time, peace.